Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next example of how we do acid-base titrations. In this case, I did not put the equation down, we're just going to write the equation, learn how to do that. But first, let's read the problem. It says the ammonia present in a 5 milliliter sample is neutralized by 18.68 milliliters of 2.5 molar hydrochloric acid. What is the molarity of the sodium solution? Or I should say ammonia solution, not sodium solution, ammonia solution. All right, um, where do we start? Well, we have to figure out what they're asking for. And in this case, they say, what is the molarity? So we're looking for the molarity and ammonia is a base. So we have to recognize this as the base versus the acid we used to neutralize it with. All right, so we're looking for the molarity of the base. So we start out by saying molarity of the base. And that is going to be equal to, now the equation will be, well, we're going to, on the other side, we put down the molarity of the acid. And then we also want to put down the additional pieces of information we need to know about the acid. One is how many ions of hydrogen does it produce per molecule of the acid. And in this case, we can see there's only one hydrogen per molecule, so that means one. And here, oh, and let me just write it down in general before we put down the numbers. So we're looking for the number of hydrogen ions produced per molecule and then here we put on the volume of the acid we used and the volume there we go so volume of the acid so notice that in the numerator we have all the information about the acid and then in the denominator we place all the information about the base so again the base will produce hydroxide ions and we need to know the volume of the base there that's what this equation looks like for this particular problem now all we have to do is plug in the numbers and we should be on our way to solving that. So the molarity of the acid was given to us as 2.50 moles per liter of the solution. The number of hydrogen ions produced is one per molecule and the volume was 18.68 milliliters divided by the number of hydroxide ions produced. And you look at ammonia, oh, well, how does ammonia produce hydroxide ions? Well, what happens is when you put ammonia in a solution, it will grab another hydrogen ion and become NH4, which means it leaves one water molecule without the hydrogen that becomes a hydroxide ion. So for every hydrogen uh, ion taken by this molecule, it produces a one hydroxide ion. So that would be one and the volume we had a five milliliter sample. All right, so since we needed more of the acid solution to titrate or neutralize the base solution, it would appear that the base solution was more uh, concentrated than the acid solution. And let's see if that was indeed the case. So 2.5 times 18.68 divided by five equals, and there it is, the molarity of the base. 9.34 moles per liter. So that would be the molarity of the base. And there's the answer. So you see, once you have the hang of that formula, acid-base titrations become pretty straightforward. Okay, I'll have a few more examples for you, and by then you should be on your way to do this on your own.